Hello there, you checkers and pleasers, and welcome to this very special Check, Please holiday episode. This, as far as we are concerned, is a non-canon episode with a Christmas twist, and we personally think that this episode should be enjoyed with some holiday candy. So grab some snacks, and when the DM says someone can have a treat, you can too. So sit back, relax, and have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let's get to it. Hey everybody! So who's ready for some D and D slash? I know I am. All right. <laughs> well, good. No I'm glad else. we all mumbled and everybody's upset and angry. This is perfect. Wait, <laughs> I I responded. I know. Wait, 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 wait! I'm the bard. Shouldn't I bring us in with a song? I was going to start with a poem, but okay. Never mind. You do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, should I d- go ahead with the song? Let's hear it. It's, no, it's no, it's, no, no, what's your song? No. Go on, Bard. No, I... We open on the Bard performing a song. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking for the tool that she had. Yeah, she was looking for the tool It's good. It, I'm drinking too much today. <laughs> You've been singing that song for five hours now. Cause you don't come and they don't stop coming. So. <laughs> <laughs> so the group, right? Opening credit. <laughs> <laughs> Just block lettering the Christmas Final episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Already copyright struck. <laughs> hell yeah! Hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> Yeah, boy. We actually probably won't edit this one very much. Because it's non canonical, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, who gives a shit, right? Who gives yeah, a who shit? gives a shit? Right. So we're probably going to be the funniest we've ever been in any of our episodes. <laughs> All right. So here's the uh, official start of the episode of the uh, of the of the adventure. It goes a little something like this. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the town, the people were stirring and wearing a frown. The wards were hung by the outskirts with care, in hopes that Nikolaus would be turned from there. The children were nestling all snug in their beds, where visions of horrors danced in their heads. And Mama with her mace, and I with my sap, just (laughs) had settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, that I sprung from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. To the moon, on the breast of the new-fallen snow, gave a luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes did appear, but a flying ship, large and tall, had landed here, with a little old captain so lively and quick, I knew in a moment he must be Calcutic. More rapid than eagles, his charges they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name, Now Sanders! Now Kara, now Edith and Corey, on (laughs) Thomas, on Evie, on Lacey and Rory! Use the rope on the deck! Latched to that wall. Now heave away, heave away, heave away all. As leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the rooftop that ship did flew, with a ship full of crewmen and the party too. Fuck. (laughs) You have arrived in the Christmas village. That was very good. That was very good, Brady. Why is it all black and white? What is this, a wonderful life? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, no, exactly, no, no, yes. Everything is black and white. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad that St. Nick was so easily subbed with Calcutic. So, so happy about that. Brilliant. <laughs> so proud of you. Oh, that just worked out so beautifully. All right, so the ship, the Agile, has crash-landed, or rather made an emergency landing, in a strange little town. It's on a river. It's all iced over and frozen. There's snow on the ground. And the town is done up in strange decorations. The ship is still hovering a little bit above the ground and is currently lashed to the top of a large building. The largest in town, in fact. You are not sure what's going on. And he's got to sort out some issues with the ship's propulsion mechanism. So he's going to be a bit busy. I don't have enough time to do this. 
We need to be moving as fast as possible. I understand. I have to get married. I, I'm fully aware, and I do apologize, but the ship simply will not fly until I manage to sort out what's wrong. I suggest you use the time that you have here and, well, maybe stretch your legs a bit. I do apologize. As soon as the ship is ready, we'll be back on our way. Fine. Thank you for your hard work. (sighs) Well, I guess I'll... And Marcus did a perception check for 18, but why? All right, Marcus, you uh, look around and you see a (laughs) small town. It is done up with strange decorations. The river that cuts through the town is currently iced over completely. There are a number of trees dotted across the area, many of which have had the snow dusted out of them, and they have strange decorations placed in them. You see that there are decorations hung on the edges of buildings and sometimes across the streets in some places. Was it, were they hung with care? It would appear that they were hung with care. Can I, can I say something? Yes, right. of course. As someone who has to read... The goddamn night before Christmas, constantly for work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of dying. <laughs> uh, I'm very sorry. So anyway, uh, to describe the city, the city <clears throat> sidewalks are in fact busy sidewalks, and they're dressed in a holiday style. Fuck you. In the air, there's a <laughs> feeling of Christmas. Christmas doesn't but, exist in this world. It does in this town. <laughs> <laughs> and you can feel it. <laughs> Am I mad at Marcus at this point? Or that is, is complete... look, this is non-canonical, so you can be if you want. I'd say no. Like I'm gonna say that for the actual just, game, just for ease of use. Yeah, let's not. No. Yeah, ease of use. We're gonna use oh. him so hard. Oh no, shit! Right? I go near Marcus. I, you know, Marcus, I respect you. Aw, <laughs> such a lie. <laughs> now we know this is non-canonical. <laughs> Do I sprout wings? <laughs> is no. It, is it the town? It's this feel like this, this Christmas thing. It makes me feel give you about quite my thing. Twenty two for uh, knowledge religion to truly understand this meaning of Christmas. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know that these people have dressed up their town for some sort of holiday. You're not entirely sure on the ins and outs of it, but it seems to be festive. You do notice that there are trees sort of surrounding the village that are all lit up with some sort of lights. Dancing lights. Possibly. You haven't examined them that closely. But they're they're sort of ringing the whole town. Oh, so it's encircling the entire town. Right. There's trees all over the place, but there's a, a ring of them that are, are illuminated, that are, are going around the town. Hmm. The ship is currently moored to the roof of the largest building, and you're all still aboard the Agile. You try to figure out what the spell is, and you're not sure. You give me a Knowledge Arcana, if you have it. Yes, sir. All right. 31 uh, for me. Soul, you recognize that it is pretty obvious that the ring of trees is most likely a warding circle to keep some sort of something out of the town. Or to keep something in, for that matter, but it's definitely some sort of magical barrier. Okay, that makes me nervous constantly, but at the same time, if I do think about soul, they also are going to be a thing that creates a magical barrier in a way, so mm-hmm. they might be actually really comfortable with this and be like, I respect this. Yeah, it sort of almost reminds you of your <clears throat> hometown a little bit. Oh, huh, that's nice. At least in the, the, the concept of, of a barrier. Cal, are we safe here? Safe? Why? You're, you're aboard the deck of my ship. No safer place that I know of. But if we walk off the ship... Well, then your lives are in your own hands. <laughs> I kid. I'm certain you're fine. You're Big, tough adventurers. <laughs> right. Um, do I feel much like how I feel in larger town? No. That is only in areas with lots of people. Okay. This is a small town. Okay. It's Christmas town. You're telling us that Screwy can't eat the spirit of Christmas? Not yet. <laughs> Give it time. Give it time. So right now we are here because there's malfunctions. Uh, yeah, there's a malfunction on the ship and you're kind of just stuck here for a little bit. Yes. Hmm. I, I could examine it if, if that would help. I mean, I don't see why not. Uh, I might go to the shop see if there's any pickaxes. Okay, just remember, this is not coming. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're not making any stops for pickaxes <laughs> okay, in okay. the actual campaign. <laughs> it's not going to count for our actual campaign, though. I know. Okay. But it's a reason for us to leave the ship. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> any inventory stuff we use will not be considered used, right? For the most part, like I said, non-canonical. Because I forgot <clears throat> to add my ears. 
I just won't subtract anything from my inventory. Just like list it down or something somewhere. I get the notes. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, Kenny. Kenny's making hot chocolate. <laughs> Kenny, all right. Well, I'm sorry. I wanted to be festive. That's okay. Tell him why that's okay. Grum says that's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, he did not say that. Then you're an <laughs> Wow. The spirit of Christmas. Bitch. <laughs> Alright, so I go down to the shop. See if there's any shop that has general goods. Okay, you step off of the Agile and you land on the roof with a bit of a clatter. And there is a roof access and a person emerges to see what's the matter. <laughs> oh, I love this. Um... Hello? Ah, uh, hello there. Um, good, good, good madam and, and other peoples. Um, uh, I, can I help you? Uh, I'm just... ready for these people to speak in rhyme. I'm just passing over your house, I guess. Uh, I didn't know this is where the ladder was headed. I'll probably be back here. It's not so much my home, but my, my business as well. <clears throat> the name's Bosley, uh, Winston Bosley. Welcome to the Grand Hotel. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, All right. <laughs> Follow my little gnomish heart, and oh my god! Wait, is this a shining? <laughs> I, I'm gonna follow her. Actually, well, can I roll something to investigate this ship so I can get in on the action? Uh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. All right. What do, I, what do you want me to roll for it to see if I can see what's wrong with the ship? If I can help fix it. Oh, Cal- Calculic waves you off and says, "Oh no, no, okay. it's well, it's it's, it's quite a, quite all right. I'll I'll handle this." You oh. you. You you stretch your legs uh, with the crew or with the rest of the part your party and you know see see the sights. So what's with all the lights in this area? The lights? Why? Why it's Christmas time? What what's Christmas? What the fuck is a Christmas? Well, you, it's it's a time of year when when we're visited by Nicholas. It's sort of important. Does why? does Nicholas not visit you in your homes? What kind of name is a Nicholas? Well. <laughs> Truly, you you don't know who Nicholas is. Amazing. Hmm. I mean, well, like Marcus is the most like closest name I know to uh, us at the end. So, oh hmm. I, no, that's Calcutic, not Calculus. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I I run the only hotel in town, so please come 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 in. Uh, allow me to to you know. Entreat you. You're you're guests of the town, after all. What? Why? Okay. I mean, I'm not going to say no. It's, uh, well, we don't get many visitors, and none have ever arrived from a ship that flies through the air before, so... I did ask the special treatment. Well, I mean, if you say so. He beckons you all forward and opens the door that is the roof access, and it leads to a stairwell that winds down to a few different levels. It's actually a three-level... <coughs> building. He goes all the way down to the first level of the building where there's a large and well-embellished lobby. So you head down to the lobby, and in the lobby it's cozy and well-appointed. There's a hearth with a nice fire burning. There's a few stockings hung on the mantelpiece above it, which is odd. You've never seen people just hang stockings above it. Seems kind of lewd. It is a bit lewd, isn't it? I don't want anyone touching my stockings and putting them on top of a fireplace. Weird. (laughs) Nearby is a woman who is currently preparing some sort of pot of something. One, Wait, uh, are these people in black and white? Like a movie. I know yeah. the portraits you're giving us are black and white, uh-huh. and the map is black uh-huh. and white. Yes. Are we actually seeing Correct. in yeah. monochromatic? Yes. Yes. Everything around <laughs> you is monochromatic. That is <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> this is amazing. Are we monochromatic? Of course. You look at yourself, and yes, you appear to be monochromatic. Yes. Fuck! I don't like this place! Title name. <laughs> A Wonderful Dice. No. <laughs> I love it! That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> they're not wonderful, though. They're very cruel. No, they're so, very, They fuck me so, over. So, Winston will go over, and he introduces his wife. He says, Oh, this is my wife, Harriet. The two of us run the Grand Hotel. Please, Harriet's preparing some cocoa. Have a sit. And he gestures us <gasps> I all love Coco. to some uh, <laughs> overstuffed couches. Soul goes for the sake of Coco. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Harriet comes over and uh, introduces herself and gives you each a warm 
mug with some whipped cream on top. It really is something. It seems she's even added some peppermint to the cocoa. Ew. I don't want it anymore. Not yours. Yours has caramel in it. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) I'd like to imagine everyone else got peppermint schnapps, actually. Mm -hmm. And like, souls, I'm a (laughs) five-year-old. I like my caramel. (laughs) I don't know why I turned into Pringle. (laughs) Anyway. A little child, they were Pringle. That's what happened. (laughs) All right, Harriet Tubman here, and Bosley, the <laughs> hair grower guy. Yeah, Win- uh, <laughs> Winston Bosley and Harriet Bosley, the proprietors yeah, of the Grand the Hotel. Yeah, hair growers. They are uh, quite happy to have you as guests. They okay. inquire as to how long you think you'll be staying in town. Ooh, I hope only an evening. It is a very important night of the year. It's Christmas night. Yeah, what the fuck what is, is that? What is Christmas? Well, cri- Christmas yeah. night is when Nicholas visits the town. But, but it'll be, who's Nicholas? It, it will be all right. We've prepared extra hard this year. And why do you have warding trees, by the way? Well, to prevent Nicholas from getting in the town. You want him to visit, but you don't want him to get in the town? Oh, no, no. You misunderstand. We don't want Nicholas to visit. He's oh. a ferocious spirit who, well, let's be honest, he steals children. But, like I said, you have, you have... anything that looks like children for children? <laughs> <laughs> Soul's actually laughing! <laughs> he, uh, he, uh, he, he thinks for a moment and says, well, I suppose it's possible. Oh, boy. <laughs> Marcus and Levet are so screwed! <laughs> Shut up, you're screwed. You act like a children. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, like I said, you have nothing to worry about. We pooled our resources, and uh, earlier this year we created a circle of warding trees to prevent uh, Nicholas from from getting in, so it will be all right. As long as no one burns down any trees. Hmm. Oh, there's no problem at all. That would be awfully malicious to do such a thing. But, no, I I fully expect nothing bad to happen. I always anticipate bad things to happen when I'm around. (laughs) Hmm. Well. Not because of me, but because, like... I don't know, man. Bad shit always happens around us. We're adventurers, as you can see, and, well... The warding trees can't be attacked directly. It's part of the enchantment weaved into them. They're actually all anchored to a single center tree, which is, uh, actually, that one right over there. He points to a tree in the Grand Hotel. Marcus is excited. Trees. (laughs) Oh boy, is he gonna pray to Eden? He is going to, yes, when he gets over to that center tree. The lobby's fairly large, and there is a large tree in it. It's the sturdy kind that doesn't mind the snow. The tree is done up in decoration. A silver and gold tinsel, in fact. Wow. <laughs> cut it down? Is it, is it just the corpse of the tree? It is cut down, yeah. It was a live tree that has been cut. It now sits here in the Grand Hotel. <laughs> it's still the root of all the warding. It's the current focal anchor of the ward. At least that's what Winston has said. You don't take him for much of a mage, so you're not sure. Uh, I mean, from Soul's perspective, I'm sorry. He could well be mistaken. Oh, it doesn't matter if I use that. I'm going to use Detect Magic. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, you use Detect Magic, and you see the magic of Christmas all around you. See? (laughs) The tree actually has uh, strong abjuration wards centered on it. Okay, cool. I actually know what those are now. (laughs) <laughs> Thanks to the ring that grow. Marcus would like to mourn and give a prayer at the center tree to Eden. You got it. You mourn and give a prayer to a tree. Yeah. Dear God. So, so oh, we're at ground there. level. I'm going to summon Archie. Okay. You summon Archie. He <laughs> unfurls and uh, sort of looks around the room. He comments. Outside. What? Oh, outside. outside. I'm sorry. You, he's big now. you summon him outside. Okay. Yeah. He looks around and he says... Which roughly translates to, ooh, pretty colors. <laughs> there is a slight romantic feel to the whole silver and gold tinsel, but Soul's bringing in their personal life way too much. But can we see the pretty colors? Not really. Oh, that's you, right. But you know they're there. It's kind of strange, right? You know they're silver and gold, but you still can't see them as silver and gold. That's fucking weird! Like, you, know, yeah, you know they're silver and gold. It's, it's really weird. There's like a cognitive dissonance, are. you know? Black, and that's how black and white imagery is. Like mm-hmm. you, you can tell what color. Yeah, comes. but like real life black and white freaks me the fuck out. 
I don't want to live like this. That's where dead people. Well, that's are. why we must destroy Christmas Village. <laughs> <laughs> Archie, fucking knock over that tree. <laughs> so why do you even stay here if you're going to get attacked every year? Well, this is our home. I mean, another place can be your home, can't it? Yeah, I've got su- a great church that I can recommend. I suppose, but if if I were to say. <laughs> If I were to leave and, and travel on the eastern road out of town, about a day later I would arrive on the western road into town. What? Well, you, you see, Christmas Town, it's sort of the center of this whole place. Is is this place cursed? Sounds like a curse. It's, it's something of a blessing. It's, it's a wonderful place. Except for the yearly attack? Well, that's why we have the wards. And the fact that you can never leave and it's always black and white? What is that? <laughs> oh, that's nice. They don't see color. So, so, just, just breathe, breathe. Tell you what, you you really should go and speak to the mayor. Mayor McHenry can probably explain a, a bit better <clears throat> than I can. I just run the hotel, after all. Oh my god. <laughs> Winston will explain to you that the mayor's house is over in the old hearth district across the river. There's a bridge going across the river. Uh, the river's iced over, but it might be a little dangerous to walk across it still, so... But we can get across it. If you had to, but he suggests taking the bridge either way. There's a large house to the left once you go across the bridge. That's the mayor's house. I'm guessing the octagon in the center is a uh, well? It's a gazebo, actually. Ooh. Oh, no. That's my favorite word. <laughs> <laughs> you just said the magic word. I think I think my panties just dropped. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you just said the magic now they're word. hung by the... Fire with care. Too uh, bad none of my on. partners are here. God damn. Oh my. God oh. damn. Hey, I'm just saying Christmas is that perfect time of year to fuck. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wow. It is, it, it is more cost effective <laughs> to stay warm that way. Agreed. Thank you, Marcus. It's like a gift that keeps on giving. And giving and giving yeah, and giving. So, what do you guys think? Let's go talk to the mayor. That's what I'm doing. I can't stay here longer than what we already are doing. <laughs> Beardy, how deep is the snow? Snow is about ankle deep for a human. So for you, shin deep. <laughs> <laughs> so what is that for me? Shin deep. Okay. I'm uh, wearing a kilt, so this is uh, a little brisk. Raise brisk. up my arms for Archie to carry me. Archie will hold you and protect <laughs> you. Love you forever. As much as a robot can love. Mm-hmm. I swear, Archie needs to get like baby carrier or like a saddle. No. And make a you just you want to no. see like Levette and the papoose? No. Is that what you're saying? Yes, that would be a something. Bjorn. And a Bjorn. A ba- <laughs> battle Bjorn. Yeah, yeah what a, what a, a battle band. Bjorn. <laughs> so I'm guessing the front door is locked. Is it open or what? Sure. So you guys head out of the Grand Hotel, and the area outside is relatively brisk, but it is also done up in such decoration to sort of warm your heart in a strange way that you don't quite understand. I don't you, understand this. <laughs> you, you follow the, the, the cobblestone paths of the street and head across a nice little stone bridge across a frozen river. Is there any music playing? Like ambient? Or is it just nice, quiet? I mean, it, it's nighttime. Oh. <laughs> uh, there could be carolers out. So, I, I, I mean, I'll, I'll, happily, I'll happily explain as you go. So, As you cross the bridge, you see a large gazebo that appears to be in the center of what is most likely the city's park. And in the gazebo is a crowd of people who are gathered together. One of them is standing in front of the rest, waving his hands back and forth, directing them in song. So, check it out. (laughs) What What kind of songs? They're songs you've never heard before. They're strange songs. (sighs) They don't sound like any songs you're familiar with. Fuck, I gotta learn this shit. Stuff is getting old. Get learned I thought you liked songs. me. Why would you say this to me? Song. I love your songs, but your, your stuff's getting repetitive. Learn some new songs. New material. Especially that one about Eden. Is really... I don't have one about Eden. I think that your songs are awesome. I don't know what Malik is talking about. Is he making the I'm not he made saying a they're off. They just need to get some new variety. Doesn't this Christmas thing remind you guys of the Swiftness? Levant, do you think my songs are old and terrible? Well, no, my songs are awesome. I just said that. Why does Marcus think you can get rid of I love your songs. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to go I... memorize these now. <laughs> also, what is Karis doing? Uh, yeah, where's Karis? 
Yeah, we're, geez, where's... Karis must still be aboard the Agile. <gasps> Karis! Just call him Karis. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, that's not how that works. Sorry. You also notice that there's a, another large tree, like a very large tree in the park that is also done up in decorations. This one's not cut down, it's just simply growing there. Ooh. Um, Are we sure this one isn't the root? <laughs> and it is, uh, it's a very large tree, and it's done up in, in various decorations. And it's near the gazebo. But anyway, these uh, these people are singing strange songs. Yahoo Doris! Something like that, yeah, actually. It's really, it's really <laughs> Oh my odd. god! And, um... Welcome Christmas! <laughs> uh, Beardy, I can I do a spellcraft on the tree that's still rooted? To do what? Spellcraft uh, is practical. Or just, you just try, like... To, de- de- to see if that's the anchor, instead of the one that's in Detect the... magic? Oh, detect magic, not spellcraft. Wouldn't that be a more appropriate one? You use detect magic on it, and you also detect abjuration magic on it as well. Okay. Nice. Not more intense than what the in the center. Mm. You're not sure. Mm-hmm. Difficult to discern Okay. which is more powerful. But I would like everyone to make a perception check while you're sitting mm-hmm. out here in the park. That is a 22 for Marcus. Just okay. closed my... Oh, 31. Jesus. Excellent. 32. I Fuck. can't even get that high, <laughs> but I did get an 18. Yeah. Yay. Yay. <laughs> oh, it's all the snow that's in your way. Good job. That is right. basically the highest roll I'll ever get for the rest of the <laughs> It was non-canonical. non-canonical. <laughs> all right, so you guys are near the bridge, and you suddenly you feel something strange. A bitter cold wind blows in from the northwest. It kind of is a a strong gust, and it kind of just cuts through all of your clothes, and no matter how bundled up you are, it seems to cut right through you, and it just, like, chills you to your bones. Fuck, Sol doesn't have sleeves on, guy. It blows a lot of snow with it, sort of obscuring your vision for a few seconds, and as it dies down, you feel this ominous presence watching you. Those of you who got above a 20, you notice that the warding trees, the circle of trees that are around the village, have extinguished. I'm sorry, extinguished? Yeah, the lights that were on them are no longer lit. So it appears the warding trees have gone out. Fuck a duck. There's a thunderclap, and you hear a voice on the wind. Here we are, as in olden days. Bloody crimson days of gore. Loyal slaves who are dear to us, gather near to us once more. At that, there's a strange wind that swirls around the area, and you see these piles of snow begin to form themselves, as if they were made of three distinct snowballs stacked one on top of the other, each smaller than the last. Oh boy. Are we rolling initiative? I really can't stay. I'll call the police. What say what's, what's in, in this drink? drink? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, baby, it's cold oh, outside. I love that song. In any case, we are now surrounded by snowmen. You are. You are surrounded by snowmen. Snow How boys. Tall? So, A pack of ravenous snowmen uh, snow appear to want to feast upon your flesh. You have an issue of soul. I sure as fuck do, because I roll high. But right now, I feel like I'm rolling on thin dice. Ah! <laughs> All right. Not a good place to start. 30 damage. Are you kidding oh, me? Geez. We're in a non canonical battle! <laughs> you made a joke earlier! He's the DM. Wow. You're allowed to. Oh Lord. my lord. Holy <laughs> crap. <That's... laughs> Question Am I able to use Bardic things as passive now or something as my move action? You can do a move action to inspire courage and then have a standard action left to attack. Yes. Yeah, I'm doing that because I'm cool. I'm going to try to attack the snowman to the northwest. Uh, That's a 20 and an 18. The 20 hits. The 18 does not. Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. Ooh, that's a six damage. Great. You strike a, a snowman for six points of damage. Archie's next. I'm just going to go after the one, Snowman 3. Alrighty. His, his attack of opportunity will be worth staying where he is. Alright. And I'll go with the power punchies. Oof. There's a 23 and a 15. Okay, one is a 1, so I need you to confirm that, please. Oh, you're right. 
Okay, so it's not a critical miss. So you only hit one time, so go ahead and roll that hit. All right. All right, you deal 26 <laughs> damage to Snowman 3. And then I'll go with my wings after him as well. It's 26, not 13. Okay, the 26 will hit. Go ahead and roll damage. 15 damage. Just punch the shit out of this snowman. And that's all he got. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's take us on to Levet. Okay. I am going to start with Bold Strength. Cast that on Archibald. Stay where I'm at. So I, I just flip a little switch on my thing and all of his skeletal bits reinforce with more muscular looking reinforcements. And that's my turn. Alrighty. It's going to take us to the snowman. Right. First one's going to move up and it's going to try to rake one of its claws across the Vera. It is going to hit and deal 10 points of damage. Snowman 2 is going to move up and try to attack Soul. One claw attack. That's going to hit. Fuck. Uh, 8 damage. Fuck. Uh, Snowman 3, 5 foot step. It's going to make a double attack against Archie. Both miss. Snowman 4, move up. 5 foot step. Make a double attack against Vera. Both hit. And that's a total of 22 more damage to Vera. And Snowman 5, 5 foot step. And double attack against Archie. And one hit at 8 damage. Marcus. Marcus. Can I take a 5 foot diagonal southwest? Take another diagonal uh, northwest. Does that work? Yeah, that would be a move action for you. And then I'd be able to attack from there? Right, you'd have a standard action left. Yes, please. So I will attack the snowman to the north. Okay. There we go. All right, that's going to be a miss. Right. That takes us to Vera. All right. First, I'm going to activate Mellifera's Boom. Excellent. That go. I'm going to use Mellifera's Sting and slice at Snowman number four. Okay. Uh oh. <sighs> uh, make another attack against Snowman number four, please. Uh, at All your right. uh, lower attack bonus, the plus nine. Yep. That would be a critical miss. Why haven't oh, I been able to hit, hit anything with my scythe for literally, like, 12 episodes? <laughs> Maybe 20. Oh, okay. Uh, your critical miss is called Backswing. The attack deals damage to you instead of the target. So, roll cool. damage on yourself. Alright. All right. You strike yourself for 16 points of damage and are now heavily wounded. Cool, Leo. Soul. Uh, and I. Oh, and I can't move too. Oh, cool. Yeah, because. Uh, uh, Fantastic. Uh, yeah, the critical f- miss will end your turn. I'm so sorry, dude. I can go to help you, but I can't heal you. Oh, right. Okay. Okay, only one of these fuckers is wounded, apparently. Uh, I'm gonna take a five foot step back next to Levette. You got it. Then I'm gonna try to hit Snowman 2, the one that's the northmost, northwestmost. Okay. With Symphonia's Wit. 25 and a 14. 25 will hit. Please roll damage. Okay. Eight. All right. You strike the snowman for eight more damage. And ending your turn. Archie, you're up. All right. Now they're definitely both within range. Mm -hmm. So let's start with the wings at snowman. So Archie's going to lean over Mm -hmm. and try to slice this dude in half with his wings. i got to get descriptive in my attack. Okay. It right, uh, so does to... not confirm that crit, but it does hit once, so go ahead and roll one damage against right. domain number three. That's 15 points of damage. Is it dead? Okay. It is not. It is still heavily injured. Uh, 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 worst please. Christmas vacation ever! So, let's just beat, pound that living hell out of snowman number three. Just slam into him with electrified fists. Alright, both attacks are going to hit. Go ahead and roll two damages. All right, that's it, you motherfucker. Well, there's another one coming in. So. All right, you destroyed. It's really dead. You destroy it's Snowman dead. three, and it returns to being uh, lifeless snow. Archibald is really unhappy with the, the frivolous joy of snowmen suddenly turning on him in his first Christmas. Mm-hmm. Truly, a Christmas. <laughs> All of our remember. first Christmases. Yeah. Lavette, you're up. All right, so let's see. Um, I'm going to. Cast uh, Magic Fang on Archie Vault. Levette, uh, rather grim, go ahead and have some candy. <gasps> <laughs> the crinkle makes it a good effect. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that's going to take us to the snowman. Double attacks on Vera. Does not confirm. 
So only one hit out of that. 11 damage. Snowman number two, full attack against Marcus. And one of those hits, Marcus takes nine points Shit. of damage. Snowman number four, double attack against Vera. Both miss. And snowman uh. number five, double attack against Archie. Both hit. Archie takes 17 oh. damage. All right. Takes us to Marcus. Heal my beloved Vera. Yes, yes. yes. Wow. Not Vera's at uh, 10 HP currently. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Where the fuck is Karis? We need two healers here, okay? You know, I'd like to, I'd like to do a, uh, like, uh, like a, a pan or like a quick cut over to Karis. There's a quick cut over to Karis, and she's just kind of like sitting below decks of, in the Agile and <clears throat> reading a book. She kind of looks up for a moment, thinks for a second, and then goes back to reading. Dude, if Karis would show up later in a Jack Skellington getup, I'm just saying that might be the greatest thing ever. Yes. Right? Oh my god, he did it. You heal everyone for 13 Boom. HP. Boom! And Vera's still fucking dying. Yeah, Vera's uh, still pretty hurt. Oof. Not 23 HP instead of 10, so that's nice. Alright, you have a move action. Um, can I take a 5-footer right... So now uh, Vera can be Why? double attacked by 3 snowmen. Why? Uh, so that... Vera, you're oh. up. So I have nowhere to go. Uh, <laughs> I could do a lay on Not hands. necessarily. You could move, like, you could five foot to the northeast. Yeah. And that would screw over Margus. <laughs> oh, oh my, yes, yes. And then I could Marcus eat a snow does have the best AC, doesn't he? Marcus has excellent AC, yeah. Uh, Marcus's yeah. AC is, what, 23? Yeah. Uh, it's better than Vera's at 17. Yes. I'm going... Over here. Okay. Five foot to the southeast. Yep. I'm just going to use a spell. Excellent. What do you got? Uh, flame strike. I'm not going to describe it, though, because I'm saving that for a non an actual canon episode. No problem. Okay. In that case, where would you like it centered? To, to hit one and four? Yep. Awesome. My very favorite cleric spell. Very favorite. <laughs> it's almost my favorite druid spell. It's my favorite cleric spell. Druids get a spell that's slightly better than flame strike. Okay. Your flame strike hits Snowman 1 and 4 and deals 40 damage to each. Cool. Yay. <laughs> flame strike. All right, there you go. Soul. Whoa, it's my turn already. All right, okay, I'll step forward because I still have a decent AC nonetheless, and I, if Snowmen are going to hit people, they can at least hit me, and I'm not aiming for the one that's like above me right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm going to enact my point-blank shot. Okay. Uh, um, now, just just to be aware, when using a ranged attack in melee, that is going to provoke. Motherfucker, I don't care. Okay, that's fine. And, uh, wow. and I'm, oh, Yeah, you're fine. And point-blank is... I'm attacking Snowman 1! <laughs> okay, and uh, point-blank is any anytime you're within 30 feet, so you've, you've been in point-blank this whole time. Yeah. Alrighty, uh, both of those are hits. Let me go ahead and roll the attack opportunity from Snowman 2. To see if he actually is able to hit you. And he doesn't. He gets an 18 total and misses. And I flip off the snowman too. <laughs> you give him the double birds. Okay. And then my ahead. like liar returns to yeah. me after that. <laughs> it reappears in your hand as you're giving double birds. And you do a so total eight of and nine. 17 damage to snowman number one. He's now heavily injured. He's not dead yet? That is correct. Oh! Uh-huh. Alright, Archie. Christmas is the worst holiday. Yeah, Archie fair. Ball- is gonna try and punch out this dude's middle section. All right, it's all right. Uh, one hits. All right, man, I was missing one. I got a two and a seven on those attack rolls. Yeah, it's and you have sake. to roll. A, realize you have to roll a two to miss. So I, know. I don't want to hear your complaints ever. Well, the, that's why I built it uh, well, to compensate I'm, for my shit. I luck. missed him because I can't roll. I, oh, I rolled a two. Oh, I yeah, missed. Exactly. I don't I even know what voice this is. <laughs> yeah, that's my accent, right? That's yeah, the rough. That's, that's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, do my French accent. Go on, Barry. I, I rolled a two. Oh, it's so terrible. <laughs> oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. Uh, my oui, name oui, is Yves oui, Bikini sure. Baudouin. <laughs> well, it's Yves it's Bikini Baudouin. Of course I am French. How I would have this ridiculous accent. Oh, ho, ho. Oh. <laughs> Let them drink sorry, wine. Emilio. I'm so sorry, Emilio. <laughs> and I use a shock hammer. 
Okay, well, since I was only able to punch him up so much, mm -hmm. lean over and spin around and do the slicey bits, too. Sure. Go ahead and do that, then. That is a 32 Yay! and a 31. Jeez. All right, there we go. All right, you rolled a 19 and an 18. Both hit, yeah. roll two damages. Actually, all I have to do is complain, and I roll good. Well, no, all you have to do is not roll a one or two. I mean, yeah. come on, man. <laughs> all right, that's 14 and right. 17. Yeah. Heavily injured, still up. Oh, right. my God. Lovette. Kill it. So, I'm going to fix Archie up with Rejuvenate Ailon. Okay. He's only taking 12 damage. I yeah. know, but I've got nothing else I can do. Everyone else is in combat. I don't want to shoot in combat. It's a level 1 spell, so i got plenty. Alrighty. Move action. Whoa. Alright, Snowman 1. 5 foot step, double attacking Marcus. Alright, 1 hit, 1 miss. Boop. Hits for 10 damage. Snowman 2, double attacking Soul. Both miss. Snowman 4, 5 foot step, double attacking Vera. 1 hit, 1 miss. Boop. Minimum damage. All right, and finally, Snowman 5, double attacking Archie. One hit, one miss. Boop. Max damage. 12. All right, that takes us to Marcus. I would like to cast Cure Critical Wounds. Okay, that would provoke. Yeah, that's fine. All right, Snowman 1 and 4 are going to get attacked opportunity. Let me resolve these before we get any further with your spell. Yep. All right, that is a hit, and Snowman number 4... That is also a hit. So, both damages are going to be 12 and 10, so 22. Okay, yes. so I need you to make a concentration check, and the DC is going to be 10, plus the damage taken of 22, plus the level of spell, which is 4, so 36. I need you to make a DC 36 concentration check. Jeez. Jeez. So you physically uh, cannot succeed. Yeah. <laughs> make the roll anyway. Oh, fudge. You know what? I, I'm going to change it slightly, and I'm going to make you make two concentration checks. That way you have okay. a chance of succeeding either of them. Okay. So okay. go ahead and make two concentration checks, and they've both failed. So you fuck the spell it up. It fails. Yeah. Spell fizzles. Well, fuck. You have a move action left. i going to move away. Wow. Uh, sorry, Vera. Can't help you at the moment. All right. Bunces the spell and leaves Vera to die. Cool. Vera, you're up. It's the greatest time All right, of so year. Vera's going to uppercut with her scythe uh -huh. at uh, Snowman number four. Do it. Friends Don't fuck so me dear. over, dice. Help me oh. save. Yeah. Oh. All right. Oh, so, didn't, didn't confirm. Uh, it didn't confirm, but both attacks hit. So go ahead and roll damage twice. All right. So hype for that crit scythe. All right, 16 damage to snowman number four. And uh, another one? Yes, another one. And another one. And 15, 15 damage to snowman four. Snowman four is destroyed. It's dead. You get candy now, I think. Vera, right? have some candy. Yay. Oh, man. The candy's in the box. There's cookies. Don't eat my fucking... I have peppermint because it's easy on my tum-tums. You earned it. You got to eat closer for ASMR. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you yeah, got to Let's, let's hear that chewing. Come on. Yeah. 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 Really close. Uh, what? I just don't want to get stuff in my keyboard. Oh, you <laughs> Soul, oh. you're up. It's my turn. I'm going to take a five foot step back next to Marcus, close to Vera. Uh huh. So. Oh. Did I just crit? So. Okay, so here's, here's the trick. So, since you used a move action to start your bardic performance, you can't actually yeah. make a full attack. What? Yeah, you can. You, that uses your move action, so your standard action is all that's left. You don't have a full action anymore. Aww. Uh, but you know what? It's Christmas. <laughs> hey. Thank your daddy. Roll Yay. damage. Thank your daddy, Dion. Oh, hell yeah. 22! I killed 22, it! 22, you killed it. Yay! Hey, Kenny? My. Yeah. Have some candy. Okay, my turn for ASMR. There's candy cane <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> oh god, the candy, the candy canes. Oh, all right. I love my fans. <laughs> Archie. Oh boy. All right, he's gonna punch the, the poop out of this one. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna punch the poop. <laughs> punch the poop out of. Him. <laughs> 
you know, I realized I could, if I didn't want to miss, I could just roll the regular attack and then I have to just not crit fail. Yeah. But I like the power attack. It's more better. I'm going to try and slap this hang's head shut and melt okay. it with electricity. Both hit. That is twi- oh, right, he's gone. All right. And <laughs> just keep <laughs> smashing it into the ground. <laughs> snowman 5 is destroyed. Have some fun. I'll make a new snowman out of you. Well, that you're up. <laughs> this is the ASMR episode, I guess. <laughs> the ASMR Candy Christmas edition? special. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna pull out my crossbow, and I'm gonna take two shots. Mm-hmm. I get to do that now at this dude over here. Don't you have an automatic crossbow? No. No. Yeah. You... Yes, Wait, you do? Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's not fully automatic, but I can. I can fire multiple shots. Mm-hmm. So I get a five-round magazine, and after that's depleted, it takes a full round to reload it. It's one of them repeating crossbows. Yeah. Roll the hits. Plus 11. Okay, so attack number two, the one with the plus six bonus, misses. Your primary attack, though, uh, rolls a nat 20 and confirms a critical hit. Oh! Yes! Yes! All right. What is with this? So that is a piercing critical. Mm-hmm. Double damage. You also deal 1d2 strength and dex damage. So please, uh, or rather, I'm going to make a d2 here. A couple of them. Both are twos. So you do two points of strength damage and two points of dex damage. Dislodge part of his fucking sticks. Yeah, yeah, he damaged him pretty badly. Okay, so in two. He's going to five foot step down. Make a double attack against Marcus. Both miss. Marcus, this is your shot. Uh, I'd like to do a dull attack, please. A scimitar? Sure. Uh, okay. It is a critical threat at an 18 because it's a scimitar. However, your confirmation roll does not succeed, so you only hit. Go ahead with one attack damage. Right. Which, uh, for you is 1d6, no modifiers. Uh, Five damage. Six, I guess. You got. You have bardic inspiration. Okay. Hi there! Hey! <laughs> I did something! Oh, well. You sure did, Garvin. You sure did. <laughs> hey. Okay, my turn? Yep. Alright. Vera's gonna come around to my number two as they go onto the bridge and gonna attack with Melifera Sting. Wonderful. You can do a full attack. Hell yeah. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. That is uh, 13 and 27. Alright, one hit, one miss. Alright. Doom. And that Six- is 16. 16 damage. No man's still up. Barely. All right, that takes us on to Soul. Me! I'm a five foot over to the south. All right, you five foot over to the south. And then I'm gonna hit that snowman. Double tax. Oh my god. I got a nat one and a nat 20. You roll a nat one and a nat 20. Now, luckily the nat 20 (laughs) was your first attack. And it succeeds the confirmation. So roll your critical hit first. So go ahead and drop damage. Okay. Boom, 22. Snowman dies. Snowman okay. number 2 is destroyed. However, I need you to drop another attack. Just a d20 is fine. No Just modifier. in the chat? Just in the chat, yeah. To see if the, the critical fail confirms. Ooh. That's a 4. Plus 8. Yeah, so that is a critical miss. So your critical miss also happens. <laughs> I'm sorry! The critical fail is called Notched. Your weapon takes 1d6 points of damage that bypass hardness. So What? You, your weapon strikes something hard, and your weapon takes 4 points of damage. Weapons take damage? Yeah, yeah, yeah weapons have hit points. Weapons. Yeah, weapons and armor both have uh, uh, HP. Yeah. yeah. Magic weapons are highly protected from it, but critical fails are special things. Yeah, because it, it just bypassed hardness, which is like the biggest thing that magic weapons have going for them. So, uh, you have what a... What kind of boo-boos does Symphonia Wit have? Symphonia's Wit has a big, like, a, a gash in it. Like, a, it's notched in, in a space and a, and a part now. The blade. So it looks like someone chopped it with something sharp. Is combat over, then? Yeah. That is going to end combat. So let me I will, unlock tokens. I will try to use mending. I mean, I don't know if it'll work, but... <laughs> Vera, fix it! <laughs> Does that work? Uh, mending is not going to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Best Christmas ever, right, guys? Right? I can't wait to get out of this 
stupid village. <laughs> I, mean, I made I this myself. Snowmen. But okay, you don't. I, I'm I'm sad too. I like building snowmen. Okay, well, do, you know yeah. how you're upset that you can't talk to your god. Yeah. What do you think I use to communicate with my god? And Sold makes a large gesture towards the lyre they're currently holding. So, I so, you Positive you feelings? I can't. That's it. I'm walking to the gazebo. <laughs> Alright, Sol walks over to the gazebo. Wait, wait. The crowd of people who were gathered there have all fled because of the attack from the snowmen. Ah, uh, who do <laughs> you want? You want to make a sing check, please? Yes, please. Check Sorry, please. that's a different show. Ah... Uh. That's a 30. All right, you make a 30 sing check. <clears throat> you you perform the Ahu Dhabi song. <laughs> and the lights on the tree in the center of town there, in the park, re-illuminate. <gasps> we have to sing to the trees! No. Wait. No. I'll sing to the trees! <laughs> <laughs> it, that's it. We just have to go around and I'll sing to every single tree. And y'all just gotta defend me while I'm doing it. All right. I mean, I've heard to talking to plants before, but this is ridiculous. If you look out to the outskirts of town, you see that the barrier wards are lit up again. Oh, all so, of them? Yes. Okay. It appears that this center tree is sort of an anchor point for the rest. And not the one that's in the hotel? Strangely, you're not sure. I hate splitting the party, but would someone check to see if people are singing by the tree inside the hotel? Oh, wait, she and I can go. We are plenty capable on our own. Let's I'd go. rather stay with you, Sol. Aw, thank you. And I'd like to stay with Sol, too, but I'm trying to... By the uh, way, Marcus, like that. Jeez. do you have anything to fix this? Just bleeding gashes? <laughs> <laughs> with lots of splinters, too. You know, y'all Dave don't Simon. need me until you go get yourself a boo-boo. Well, yeah, that's the point of Claire. Yeah. It's like It's like your job. Isn't that, like, what Eden's all about? You know, helping people or something? Okay, oh, I'm sorry, that's Malifra. Do you want to <laughs> the need you most of that? Well, it helped a little. A little bit. <laughs> I mean, we're out of combat, so I could continue doing it, so... Hey, that's a little bit better. Hey, I'm also going to take a healing potion. I'm going to mark it off in my notes. Okay, so Levette's going off to the hotel Yeesh. with Archie. Yeesh. To check to see if people are singing by the tree. Yikes, Okay. So while that's happening, what's the rest of the party doing? I'm going to keep singing by the tree okay. to keep whatever protection's happening going. Okay. Can I sing, like, Red Shoes and Depress Everyone? <laughs> Let's, wait, no. What's the song? What? It's Christmas, Christmas Shoes. shoes. Yeah, Christmas yeah, Shoes. Christmas Shoes. Oh, Sorry, God. Red Shoes is the terrible story where the girl can't stop dancing and it's really fucked up because her feet get cut off at the end. Yeah, that's a messed up song. Anyway... Mister, can you get some souls for my cleric, Hi. please? Oh! <laughs> 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 it's Christmas Eve, and yours just looks just his size. <laughs> Stay away soul. from my baby, please. Cleric's gonna, <laughs> oh, <nice>. Cleric's gonna munch <laughs> some souls. La 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 la. Fuck! <laughs> All right. Well. Levette, you go back to the Grand Hotel, mm -hmm. and in the lobby, you see a kindly older lady. She sure. turns and says, Hello! You must be one of those adventuring folk that just recently arrived in town. Mm. Uh, yes, this is all <laughs> snow. It's, uh, I know it's hard to tell in black and white. I'm covered in snow. Well, yes. it, it is somewhat cold and snowy out tonight. Yes, but indeed. I yeah. <clears throat> it's a it's a good thing that you're here though. It's uh it's Christmas Eve, which means that Nicholas is going to well, probably try to attack the town tonight. I think uh that's it happened actually, yeah? yeah. I think we got through it. I I think that Nicholas hasn't arrived yet. I'm I'm Mayor McHenry, oh. by the way. I I have a feeling though that we're in for some bad trouble. You see a a shyster apparently came through town a few months ago and sold us a bad, a bad warding system. I think uh, she goes to speak again, and uh, I need you to make a perception check, please. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> okay, yes. sure thing. 
Oh, nice. Sorry. That was all right. Nice. Uh, you notice the tree that's behind her is starting to move on its own. What kind it's, of play is that? She turns and she says, I think they sold us a bad... And before she can get the next word out, the tree somehow sprouts an arm, reaches out, grabs Mayor McHenry, picks her up, and then drops her into a newly formed mouth on the tree. She vanishes ah. behind gnashing teeth. The, ah. the tree stand the tree stands up and begins to shoot it. and begins to rampage around the lobby of the Grand Hotel. I'm gonna shoot it. <laughs> oh gee, get in here! Is it the one person not to have in this situation? <laughs> what is that supposed Hulk? to be? Because you hate mimic. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah. So it's a it's a Christmas tree end. It's going to attack Archie. Archie takes uh. twenty nine points of damage in the first Ooh. round. All right, it is now going to be woo, Archie's turn. What would you like Archie to do? I want him to grab this thing and electrocute it till it fries. You want him to Crush make it. a you want him to make a grapple check? No, I want to do a full round attack. Oh, I'm just okay. Use flavor. All right. It was very tasty. Noted. Thank you. And I got run over by a tree ant. <laughs> Alright, both attacks hit. Go ahead and roll damages. Nice. Walking home from our house Christmas Eve. That is 26 and 29. You hit... Oh, gee, he hits your back harder! Put your back into it. Stupid plate! Damn. Archie right. hit hard. Mm-hmm. For real, though. Just chop up this tree. Chop up all his wings. Okay, only one of those is going to hit. Okay. Alright, 15 more damage. 15 more. So, I'm going to use one of my things that I'm not going to describe yet because I want to save that for the campaign. Mm-hmm. But I am going to cast Siphon Might in this thing. Okay. So, it looks, gets a DC 17 port save. Okay. I'll move up behind Archie if I wasn't considered to be. Okay. He succeeds his fort save. Okay, so I do D6 plus 4 strength damage to it. So, 1D6 plus 4, and then we half it. Three? Okay, so he'll take three okay. points of strength damage. All Easy right. enough. And I'm going to channel it to Archie rather than... Because I can do it to someone I'm in touch with instead of myself. And that'll be my turn. All right. So that's going to give Archie a temporary strength bonus. Now, what is the problem is that's going to be an enhancement bonus to strength. And he already has an enhancement bonus to strength. So because he already has bull strength on, right? He has bull strength currently? Yeah. They don't stack? And no, like bonuses never stack. Uh, so uh, an enhancement bonus doesn't stra- doesn't stack with another enhancement bonus. Oh, cool. All right, round two. All right. Oof. All right. A 19 Holy and a, 19 shit! And a seventeen. Archie is down. What about that share bond thing? Yeah. Do you want to sacrifice some HP? Archie is currently at negative five. Would you like to sacrifice six hit points to keep him at one? Yes. Okay. You take six points of damage and reduce the damage on Archie to 59 points out of 60. Archie's at one HP. (laughs) That's the end of the Trent's turn. It is now Levette. Don't you have message? Oh. Who are we on? Your turn. Levette's turn. Get out my fancy toolkit and fix him up. Another rejuvenate Eidolon. Okay. When the DM balances an encounter for the entire party. Yep. Wow. You heal eight hit points to Archie. Yeah, and I'll start screaming for the others. Guys, get over here! Okay, you begin screaming (laughs) for the others. Archie, you're up. Can we start running towards her? Do we hear her if she's screaming? We'll find out soon. Archie's up. Alright, double power punch. Just beat the fuck out of this tree. Okay. Oh, that's Uh, that one. I need you to make another attack, please. You got it. Oh, that's a 21. That's going to be a critical miss. Oof. Oh, no. The other one came first, I think? or did it? Uh, no, that, that was attack game? number nope. two. So critical miss is going to happen first. You strain your muscles and take 1d4 points of dex damage. So Archie, well, of course I roll a four. Archie takes four points of dex damage. Oof. Boop, that's going to damage nice. Archie's AC and initiative rolls. Yeah. Okay. It's the end of Archie's turn. It takes us back to the Christmas Trent. It's going to make two slam attacks against Archie. 27 and 31. Both hit. Oh, oh, 
Alright, and that is going to be an 18 and a 13 damage. Archie is currently at negative 22. Would you like to take 23 points of damage? Yes. Okay. That'll take you up to 29 damage total and take Archie back to one hit point. Okay. At the end of this, I need everyone else make a perception check, please. That is a 23 for me. 23. 19. A 19 and a 15. 15? Only Marcus hears the call. Oh boy, I'm doomed. <laughs> Marcus, you can hear Levette screeching for help. Guys, guys, I think we need to get over to the Grand Hotel. Soul's already running past as soon as they heard that we need to. They're just like, boom! <laughs> Alright, oh, oh. so okay. you lot start to make your way back to the Grand Hotel. You'll be there in two rounds. Yeah. Oh, fuck! <laughs> and also, I, I am uh, flying. Does that, will that increase my time? What is your fly speed? What's I believe, yep, 40 foot. Okay, Vera will get there in one round. Everyone else will get there in two. So, on the round you're waiting for everyone, it's going to be Levette. Go ahead. All right. I guess what I'll cast instead, then, is Evolution Surge. Okay. I give Archie an additional plus two strength, so I think he won't need it. Okay. You give Archie temporary plus two strength. All right. Anything else? I think that's pretty much all I can do. I want to stay near him. Okay, that's going to take us to Archie. Archie has one hit point and is in base-to-base contact with this Christmas treant. Oh, boy. Punch it! Punch it, Archie! That is a 25 and a 24 to hit. Damn. They both hit. 23 damage on the first and 24 on the second. Okay, Christmas treant is now heavily wounded. (laughs) Okay. Okay, that's going to take us to the Christmas treant. It's going to get a double attack against Archie. And... It actually manages to miss one of its attacks. Wow, kind of amazed. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wow. It also does 16 damage uh, to right. Archie. I'll absorb 17 points. Okay. Ooh, buddy. <laughs> buddy. Takes you to 46 damage total, that? meaning that you are now heavily injured, keeping oh. Archie at 1 HP. Ooh. ooh. All right. It's going to take us to Levette. Okay. Why? Look at this. Is- so my evolution search, my bad. Oh, I used up the wrong one. That was the problem. Well, I'll use the big one now. Okay. And I'm going to give him... Let's bring back the rend, because I still have that in my straight sheath. Okay. You bring back rend with an evolution surge. Okay. Yes. Vera, you bust into the front doors of the Grand Hotel, and All right. you see that Archie and Levette are fighting a Christmas treant. Yes! It is one move action away from you to get up to base to base. Okay. However, I would also provoke to get that close to it. So you have the option of if you want to stay back and use ranged abilities, that's fine. But if you want to move up into melee, it will provoke from the tree. Okay. How bad does Levette look? Levette is bleeding from the ears and nose. Archie looks like it has steam and shits puffing out of it in weird places. And he's kind of like really rickety looking. He's shaking apart. All right, I'm going to run up behind Levette mm-hmm. and use Cure Serious Wounds. All right, you heal Levette for 15 HP. Archie. Okay, if I can hit both of these. I'm going to go with the regular double punch. Okay. I want to hit both of them so I can do my run damage. Does a 20 and a 29. One hit. Ah, darn. Punch. Minimum damage. 13 points of damage. All right. And wings. I keep forgetting them. Go ahead. 14 and a 27. Only the 27 hits. All right, 15. And that will take us back to the Christmas Treant. Christmas Treant's going to double attack Archie. Oh! Oh, shit, son! That is a critical hit. All right. So, slam damage incoming. Kablam! 27 damage. Bludgeoning. Double damage. Target is knocked prone. All right, easy enough. So 27 uh, total? And, or no, 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 that's just from the crit. The other attack also hits and does an additional 17 damage. So Archie is at negative 43. So if you can take 43 points of damage, you can keep Archie from dropping. I believe that is beyond your abilities. That sure is. Yeah, since you are currently at 35. Yeah, so, you, so Archie drops into a ball and is removed from play. 
All righty, that is going to take us to Seoul. You arrive in the lobby of the Grand Hotel. What Archie, the fuck? <laughs> right as you arrive, you see Archie drop and collapse back into a like self-repair mode. So it rolls back up into a small ball. You see the Christmas tree ant, now somewhat mangled from damage, but still covered in decorations hung with care throughout oh, its, that's its branches. That's impressive. They must have really cared. It has an angry kind of mouth and face on it. And you got an angry looking mouth. <laughs> two, two kind of uh, two kind of knobbly arms. Alright. Can I hit that with point blank shot? Absolutely. Alright. Let's fuck this tree up. Maybe. that's Those are both 15s. Yep. I don't think I don't think I can fuck him up right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Both of those attacks are going to miss. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm just you, uh, gonna cut some needles off of his branches, but ultimately do no damage. Soul is blaming the fact that their weapon is damaged, dude. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, Marcus, you pop into the scene and you see a Christmas treant, angry-looking one. Well, balls. Jingle balls. For now, I'm gonna cast. I cast ancestral gift. <sighs> okay. To... What do you do with it? Ghost of Infestation uh, of one of your ancestors appear before you with a weapon of your choice in his hands. But Marcus doesn't have any ancestors. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> so a shadowy figure appears before you and hands you a plus one scimitar. Can it be like the, the ghost of Christmas future? Oh, it is. <laughs> Look. Yeah, Yay! It, has, yeah, no, it absolutely is the ghost of Christmas future. Billows forth. Like all this black smoke rises up from the ground. And you see this nondescript, enormous figure in a black cloak, and it hands you a scimitar. <laughs> <laughs> its hand is bony and skeletal. I love this. It's beautiful. It billows it back into you? black smoke. <laughs> Thank you. It just gave you the same exact weapon you use already. I have two of them now. Uh, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can't believe it. Archie went down. It only took a monster that I had balanced for the whole party to fight. I know. But now he won't get to meet Santa. That's right. <gasps> well, he might. Lovett. Dude, no, summon him again. Christmas him miracle and all, day. you know. Oh, that's too bad. But it's, it Lovett's could be a Christmas miracle. <laughs> could be. <laughs> what I just said. I'm going to, in the meantime... I let out a construction that unfolds like he does, and it's this big, bulky, kind of humanoid, but with really long, wide arms. Ugh. Mechanically, I want to summon a augmented dire ape. Cool. The Hulkbuster. Pretty much, yeah. I love it. Okay, you summon a dire ape. I love ape. it. <laughs> yeah, and it should act immediately on my turn, so I wanted to do a full attack on Christmas Triumph, which is a fight and two claws. A Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. when does Lavette's like summoner rank get high enough to where she can have Archie out and a other monster oh, thingy? Never, never. Uh-huh. Okay. What I Vera. All right, I'm going to create a blue sphere of flame. Okay. And send it onto the treant, the okay. Christmas treant. Wonderful. All right. Uh, Flaming Sphere is going to have a save. I'm going to roll that for the Trent currently. Uh-huh. An Azure Sphere. All right. Clear. It fails and takes 3d6 of fire damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Would you like to roll that? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So just grab the damage off of it, drop it on the Trent. It's vulnerable to fire and takes 10. Yeah. yeah. Yay. Go, All Vera. Right. Go, Vera. You're efficient. <laughs> I did the thing. Did okay, the thing. that's going to take us back up to the Christmas tree its turn. It's going to determine that the biggest threat on the board is currently the person throwing fire at it. So Fuck. it's going, it's going to move past the dire ape. The dire ape's going to get an attack of opportunity. I will right, roll that right now and miss. Christmas like tree moves over to to its enemy. That's going to hit, and it rolls sixteen damage to Vera. Oof. All right, that's gonna take us to Soul. Hey, it's your boy. I'm gonna put that bardic inspiration of courage up in your business, okay? 
And then I can do a regular attack roll. Yes. Right? Where it's just the plus 11? Yep. Just your bigger attack. Okay. Oh, uh, that's a 23. Wow. Hey, hit. Yay! Nice. 10 damage. 10 damage. All right. You strike the treant, and you strike it pretty well in the trunk, and you see a little bit of sap come out. You heard it. Marcus. Channeling. Yes, is channeling. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas right. you tree. You heal everyone for 11. Baker. Be Grunst and Dina Blatter. Vera, you're singing. <laughs> Fuck you and your Christmas. Labette. Okay. All right. Pull out a little enhancement and I'll add all these pipes and works okay. to my... That, get big and that will provoke. Will it? Yes. Can I five foot step away? No. The Christmas okay. tree has excellent reach. I am okay with that. All righty. So incoming one attack that is going to hit... Uh, it is going to deal 13 points of damage. Uh, what spell were you casting? I was casting Bull Strength. Bull Strength. Okay, it's so level 2 spell. So that is going to be a DC 25 concentration check, please. Oh! Fizzle. That's a 14 total. Fizzles. All right, you lose the spell. Ends your turn. Vera, you are in base-to-base contact with the Treant. What would you like to do? All right. Am I able to hit it from here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm going to do a full round attack. I'm going to bring this fucking tree end into my house and decorate it again. I like nice. it. I like it. All right, go ahead and give me a double attack, please. Come on, don't fucking suck. It sucked. 18 it, and an 8. It did suck. It was double 18s. Both attacks miss. Why can't Vera fucking attack? Poison sting? <laughs> you do have poison Can... sting. Yeah. Okay. A 19, 19. <laughs> also a miss. Nope. Okay, the Dire Ape's turn. It's going to do a full attack, and it is only going to hit with one of its claws. It deals seven points of damage to the Christmas Treant. Uh, Alright, that takes us back to the Christmas Treant's turn. He's going to double attack against Vera. Really doesn't like that fire. And it is going to only hit once. Deals 18 points of damage to Vera, and that takes us to Soul's turn. Yo, bitch! Over here! Get away from her, you bitch! (laughs) (laughs) That's my best friend you're touching! Marcus is kind of hurt, like, (laughs) aww. There's so many things I could explain to you how that their relationship, Saul and Marcus's relationship, is, like, different, but I feel like that would be spoilery to the rest of the group. Spoilers! So, a 17 and a 22? The 22 hits. Go ahead and roll the damage. Yay! Uh, 11. Yeah. I took it down? You strike what? it with with Mellifera's wit. Oh, and, I'm sorry. Sorry. Mellifera's <laughs> wit? Symphonia's wit. See, you're already throwing me. You look at the symbol on it, yeah, and it's a B now. That's a B <laughs> instead, of a, instead of a liar. You strike it with what? Symphonia's wit, and it falls down, and you hear someone in the distance say, Tim! It strikes the ground and cascades little decorations all over the place. Can I use detect magic on the ca- decorations? Sure. I do that. <laughs> They're non-magical. Aw. I want to pick up the like ornaments and use them as magic bombs to throw at our next enemy. <laughs> hey, candy. Runs over to Levet. Yeah. Have some candy. Yay! In How fact, much candy do I in get? In fact, everyone for defeating the Christmas treant, have some candy. So we have some tree bark. Uh, should I go with noir, golden, or delicious? <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm a fan of noir, but whatever. I'm gonna go with opium. Mm, my boss, opium. uh, my my boss boss, uh, got me triples for Christmas and an Amazon gift card. So I got a rock. So <laughs> <laughs> mm. Tree bark. Ew. <laughs> Why well, can't Vera hit any, anymore? I mean, she can hit Karish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty well, too. Mm-hmm. Right. Real good. So the Christmas tree was destroyed. Woo! And uh, the lobby of the it? Grand Hotel is now covered in pine needles I'm and blood. <laughs> and sap. It's pretty horrible, in fact. And engine oil. Uh, is, is Archie okay? Oh, well, gee. Say something, buddy. Well, can't can't you just like hero? fix? You you have like a toolbox, like, right? You can like fix them. Going to miss this Christmas festive toys. Um. Well, that's that's no, what you're worried about. Like I'm only here for a few more minutes. 
<laughs> Say hello, Roderick. Roderick? Hello. What is that name? Roderick. Oh, it speaks, actually. Why can't Archie speak yet? I uh, don't really know. I should uh, look into installing some of the languages I know. I'm just saying it'd be easier for me so I wouldn't have to cast tongues on him all the time. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, can I check outside to make sure that the trees are still glowing? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you go outside and you see that the trees are still glowing and the tree in this middle of the park is also still glowing. (sighs) Whew. That's good. The proprietor, uh, well, both proprietors of the Grand Hotel, will kind of come out of hiding and say, We we can't believe you were able to, to defeat that beast. We were sure that we were going to be killed. Yeah... Well, we lost one of our best friends, so... And the mayor was eaten, too. Yeah, that's too bad. Holy yeah, gruesome. Truly. Maybe she's Why okay? Should we open up the body and see if she's actually dead? I mean, Marcus, someone might be dead. We didn't see it. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> you didn't know. We didn't see that happen. They just told us. Well, oh. it, it, it looks like, though, that... If this tree was a fake and sold to us by a, a shyster, then uh, y'all love that word. Then we've we owe you a debt. You've you've saved the Christmas village for this for this Christmas. Have we? I don't feel like we haven't run into the glass yet. Isn't that? Well, I sang to turn on all the trees again at that big tree by the gazebo. It's true. If the wards hold, then Nicholas cannot enter. But they did go down for a little bit. The proprietor thinks about this for a moment. Hmm. I wonder what could have caused that. What caused the it? What caused it to return? I sang to the big tree near the gazebo. What did you sing? Uh, it was a song that people were singing near it. I'm pretty sure it was like "Da Who Doris." <laughs> and it's like, oh, yeah, that, that's some of our our carols that we sing. The Abu Dhabi song. The Abu the Abu Abu Dhabi song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That is yeah. not how. It's welcome Christmas, guys. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> they mumble the name every time. They're like, yes, Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, It's our. our, our... <laughs> Marcus has a question for the. I I guess the new not the new neighbor. Who is this person again? He does always speak in South Boston. It's kind of weird. <laughs> it's, it's the the Bosleys. The, the couple that run the Grand Hotel? Okay. Tell me, what's the name, who, who was the name of the sh- shyster that sold you the, the this ward? It, his name was Sinterklaus. He was a traveling salesman, he said. His name was Sin? S- Sinterklaus. Yeah, Sin. Sinterklaus. Sorry. If you're friendly with someone, you shorten their name in my area. Oh, well, that's interesting. So does that mean you... Well, well then... Okay. So... So I don't think we're friends with this person, though, because he sold us a bad tree. In fact, I think he might have been working with Nikolaus this whole time. No! Nikolaus oh, what is this Nikolaus thing? Say. Well, uh, Nikolaus is about... He, he raises his arms up above his head, and, and then he moves them out to his sides. He's about... And, and he's about... Yay. And, well... Well, well you see, N- Nikolaus is a, a bit of a, a dangerous beast... A true, a true terror uh, of of the season. He he lives in a cave not too far from town, but none dare venture there for fear of his, well, his wrath. Does he eat onions too? I, I'm not sure. I think he mostly eats children. Hmm. Yum. Wait. No, actually, I'm not okay with this. I shouldn't be okay with this. But, um. Like well, I said, you should be okay with that. If we. If we can bolster the, the wards throughout the night, then, then Nicholas can't attack. He's only able to, to manifest one night a year. If Sinterklaas is working with Nicholas, he can turn off the wards whenever he wants. I think they're the same person. <laughs> no, you don't but, say. But N- Nicholas can only attack us on Christmas night, so as long as we can keep him from getting in tonight, then we're safe for a whole other year. Well, can you... I can keep... Singing to the tree. It could you? It it would mean saving Christmas. <laughs> Soul has a face. Where it, it's a smile, but it's like a cringy smile. And they're trying to be caring with their expression, but it's just like 
I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> will you will you save Christmas? Sir. What do I get? <laughs> what do I get if you, I save your entire well, looks village? Like it feels like a warm feeling in your heart. Well, you would Come prevent on. the... I've got well, a couple hearts scale. in I me currently. <laughs> you would prevent yeah. the gruesome deaths of children in the entire town. Okay. I, I'm, so I'm, looking, I'm looking at the guy. Well, to me. Well, to say, well, to you. I mean, well, he's right. Like... I don't care about kids. I may be pregnant, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Can we at least get some healing implements if we do this? Or money! Ooh, ooh, can any of you enchant a rapier? <laughs> Christmas candy! Well, Sorry. what? You you said if you know someone, you shorten their name. Yeah. They've called you Sol. Is that... What is your what is your full name? Soliana Polyhymnia. Well... Oh, you just locked that shit. Soliana, with your pitch so right... Won't you save our town tonight? Jesus Christ. <laughs> what was that, Dr. Dude? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Marcus looks up at Soul and it's like, Soul, it's Christmas. We what the fuck is Christmas? Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> this Marcus is the is first place we've this. ever been that does I'm this. Taking to it like, like a moth to flame. They got trees. I get they it. Got you believe in gods that aren't efficient, so you believe in holidays that aren't efficient too. Yes, that's that's these yeah, That is Marcus. Right. Well, the town can take up of a collection. We, we, we do have uh, quite a bit of this. He reaches over and picks up the tinsel and hands it to you. We could we could get quite a bit more of it. Uh, <laughs> Soul's just like looking at this in their hands. Yeah. Make a perception check. A perception check? Everyone, yeah, soul? yeah, yeah, no, just soul. Uh, that's soul, a 28. Soul, this tinsel's made of actual silver and gold. Jesus Christ, okay. <laughs> I was expecting uh, it to Marcus be made of McGuffin. Marcus does a right? quick appraisal check. Soul, this yeah? shit's a lot of money. Yeah, I know, that's why I just said yes. Duh. <laughs> yeah, all of it? I'll take all of it, and I'll go sing to that fucking tree. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> the, the group marches back out into the park. And you see that the townsfolk have gathered again, and they're trying their best to sing, but they're all sort of off key, and they're all kind of frightened. They need someone to. Couldn't get, <laughs> couldn't get any potions. They need someone. <laughs> they need someone <laughs> to guide the singing. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's a thirty-three. You make a thirty-three on the sing check. Wow. You uh, take the the lead role, and you uh, you sing a Christmas carol, and. I like to think that Soul's trying to conduct people at this as, point while singing. As you singing. do this, even though it's snowy out, the chill in the air fades, and all of you feel better about everything. Your your wounds seem to disappear with a warmth that grows from your heart. Would you say Vera's... it's the cockles of our heart? It's almost Vera's as if heart. Vera's heart has grown <laughs> three sizes that night. You're now chaotic good. <laughs> 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 when you examine yourself, you see that all of your wounds are gone. And, in fact, the notch that was taken out of Symphonia's wit has also vanished. Yay! <laughs> the townsfolk have gathered around, holding hands, circling the center tree in, in the park. Okay? As they sort of, <laughs> wait, you know, they, they lean back and forth as they sing Christmas carols throughout the night. Yeah. And by first light of the next day, you know that Christmas Town is safe for another year. Uh, yay! So this is all non-canon, right? Almost. So at this point, you hear a shout, and you look up, and you see a jolly, fat gnome up on the deck of the um. Agile. My friends! What what day is it? Is he fat? He's chubby. Oh. Apparently it's Christmas Day? I thought what? it was February 1st. Why? <laughs> then it's not too late! Come aboard! We have an adventure to continue! Yes, sir, Cal! Is that Cal? Yeah. Wait, Cal is that Cal? Yeah. yeah, it was Cal. Yeah, okay. So, you guys uh, bid farewell to the town. They load you up with uh, crates of tinsel, both uh -huh. silver and gold. And you all get back into the ship. Calcutic fires it up, unmoors it from the roof of the Grand Hotel. And you take off into the sky, into an overcast sky of clouds. 
And once you emerge above the cloud layer, you notice that color has returned to everything. And well, that, that was fucking weird. And that is where <laughs> we will call our Christmas adventure to Oh, a darn, I didn't get to do my non-canon thing. <laughs> you want to do what, attack everyone? No, better than <laughs> well, that. Well, I'm a little sad <laughs> that the thing we kind of joke planned about didn't couldn't happen. come to pass. Yeah. Which was that? Yeah. Well, I was kind of hoping Santa was good. And we kind of wanted to take gone. over his soul. Yeah, we were kind of <laughs> going to have Marcus eat him. Soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to try to take the, like, episode from you. <laughs> <laughs> good fucking luck. <laughs> My plots were not so deeply conceived. So, uh, had we gotten through that much faster, I did have a dungeon prepared for you to fight. Uh, Nicolaus, um, but that will have to wait till next year's Christmas next special. Year. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Other than that, thank you for playing in this extremely stupid adventure. <laughs> thank you for doing that. Yeah, this thank you, Beardy. Fun. At least I thought it was thank it was you, extra silly. For, uh... It was good. <laughs> so who wants to keep playing D and D? I'm just saying. Do I actually get money from this? Fuck no. Thank you. <laughs> it's not canon. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs>